Hi everyone. Recently I came across a thread on Reddit claiming that Langgraph was a poor choice because you're bound to deploy it on the proprietary Langgraph cloud. However, I think this is misleading. My approach to deploying Langgraph follows the same method I'd use to deploy any service today, aligning with established industry standards, deploying the service as an API, running in a container. Take my agent from the OpenAI Swarm vs Langgraph video for example. This agent classifies a message and directs it to another agent, which is essentially just an LLM with tools. So in this case we are working with a hierarchical agent pattern. To set this up we need to define functions to use for nodes and edges. Then we need to define the state and create a workflow based on the state. If we ask something like what's the weather in Munich, the question will be classified and routed to the appropriate sub-agent. So can we actually use the agent like this already? The answer is no. The agent operates synchronously, which means that if multiple people use our service with this agent, a request to the LM might block requests from other users. So a crucial change to make that production ready is to make the agent asynchronous, converting all node functions that involve an LLM call to asynchronous code. This is relatively simple. Just replace dev with async dev and use invoke instead of invoke. So we've got asynchronous non-blocking code. The async approach integrates perfectly with FastAPI, the most popular API framework in Python. We can use FastAPI to expose the graph as an API endpoint. We simply import the graph, create a chat endpoint and then specify what users can submit in their requests. As you can see, with just a few lines of code, we can build an API around a graph. So now we've got an API, but we want to deploy it following industry standards. The standard approach to this is to build containers with Docker as the go-to tool. The next step is straightforward. Create a Docker file and define a few commands. We take a Python base image, copy the requirements.txt file with the necessary dependencies and install them. We then copy all the Python files into the container. Lastly, we need a startup command for the API. We run the fast API app with UVIcorn and ASCII server that enables us to efficiently handle asynchronous communication. ASCII is short for Asynchronous Server Gateway Interface and provides the foundation to handle multiple requests simultaneously. It also supports WebSockets and manages high loads efficiently. Now we've got a container image, but we want to make that image available to the world. For this, we need a server. There are various providers. I've been using DigitalOcean for years and I'm very satisfied. I pay $5 per month for a droplet. So a droplet is just a small server. After creating a droplet, you log in via an SSH client, then you can upload the code to a server via an FTP server and build the image there. Alternatively, you can directly use Docker Hub to store the image and pull it from the server through the Docker CLI. If you want a more large and scalable solution, I'd recommend looking into the big cloud providers. I worked quite a bit already with Microsoft Azure. They offer various services like Azure Container Apps or Azure Kubernetes Service for applications with really many, many users. The choice for you really depends on your personal preference. So in short, you don't need the Langgraph Cloud for Langgraph Apps. Just build an API around an agent, create an image and deploy it somewhere in the cloud as a service. It's that easy. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.